Happy Saturday. We are not alone. If we choose to be, we can walk whatever path we choose. We can choose to be vulnerable and form intimate relationships. Or we can shut down and cut off and push people away. And then you'll feel alone. I've I, I've done both. And uh, I find it much easier to walk with with a pack. To have friends, family that I can rely upon, lean on. And that can be scary. Because the illusion for me is that I'm the only one that's ever felt the way that I feel. Afraid, stupid, better than, less than, unlovable, too lovable, whatever. The illusion is that I'm the only one that's ever had those feelings in certain situations or in every situation. And that there's nothing going on, but I am terminally unique and tragically the same. And my willingness and courage to expose those illusions of myself to somebody else is what binds that intimate bond. That's been my experience. In challenging moments, scary moments, calling somebody and in essence telling on myself that I have these feelings that I feel ashamed of. And somebody usually 99% of the time on the other end of the phone or in the other end of the coffee table or whatever says, dude, I felt that way too. And then I feel connected. We are so similar and fear separates us. What I do unto others, I do unto myself. And if I can break the barrier or the illusion of separateness, if we as, an, as humanity can do that, we will, I would presume, be much happier. If we know that it's less about the fear that you're different and more about the beauty that we're the same. And then like, oh yeah. We are all brothers and sisters and siblings of one another. I don't know, or maybe not. <laughs> I'm enjoying the beautiful weathering that's happening in Washington state. It's snowing, I'm overlooking Spokane and it's pretty phenomenal. So anyway, hope you're having a fantastic Saturday. Peace.